loyalty for shipping these two characters together. It's Black Butler and Sebastian and Ciel. Oh, I can't yeah. 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 so young it's so and human. Yeah. Yeah. Sebastian is like thousands of years old. That's just like and funny <laughs> and, well, I mean, but I mean, they're older than yeah. 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 more. They're well, a little bit like, Most of the time, in a lot of fan fiction, so wait until Ciel gets older and then the harem, or wait until he sold tickets by Sebastian and turned into a demon, so he technically doesn't age anymore. See, but I think that's like the main carry. Well, it's not canon, series. but it's not canon. But like, literally, <laughs> if, you is, if you asked someone, like, so you pull someone in there and ask them the question, they're probably gonna say that's the main carry. Like, they're the ones that are like super, super, super popular. So I don't think you're weird at all. I definitely don't think anyone should feel ashamed about the parent that you like or something that you like. You know, it's your opinion. It's what your opinion matters the most. Don't listen to what anyone else has to say. Like, if they don't like Ginny and Draco, it's okay. Well, just live. Just like if you don't like giving out and Kyosuke, I don't care. I don't even care how wrong it is. I will love it forever. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I love them. <laughs> but there's like, if you ever go on Tumblr, there's so much controversy about shipping them. And like, I'm into all of them. But especially to D. Noodle's so cute. Yeah, like, she's technically 25 now, so it doesn't matter. But people say, if she say Noodle? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> the <laughs> approval. Like when I first got into Asha, I was just like, he's so pretty. 
like is it he has like he's in a commercial like at all times, like his hair's just like Yeah, like he's he's so pretty. And I was just like I associated myself more so with Kagome, um, because of my age at the time from when I got into it and I was just like, Well, I'm in school too, I understand the struggle. And it's I was going to like, a magical world. I don't have no doggy ears around me, but I understand. Um, and getting into, you know, that aspect that was just like <coughs> Yeah. Exactly. Part of the reason for preparing in and of itself because he needs someone who is not afraid to stand up and there's no way he will ever keep him in front. There's a lot of people who should have been like uh, Inuyasha. I, know, I, I don't know what to say for that. Okay, cats. I said this yesterday. I made it just like Candace, but I full on homestuck trash. Um, Cronus and Cancri. Anyone in homestuck? Jesus, when the free came and, and that, that name came up, there was a whole war 
more about that that should be in the interview, which I thought was ridiculous, and I'll share. So, nice try, but yeah, yes. Who was the other character that was here? Zach from um, the Anne Rice Interviewer of the Vampire. Yeah. He's pretty. <laughs> Anyone else have any? Yes. Wait, wait, what was the name again? <laughs> Ren and Lestat. And Lestat. That? Lestat. <laughs> um, he's a vampire um, from Interview with a Vampire by Anne Rice. And he's a rock star. And he's a rock star. And sexy. <laughs> <laughs> two, like, two, two So two bad boys. <laughs> yes. We were proposed an interview with a speedo. <laughs>
those over here, yes. Okay. Unless there's one. No? Okay.